guiding them through Rogue. Name's Fate. Great. Where's that old Warbrus want to kick me now? Get Rogue. I want to help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and merchandise. Interested? You're gonna tell me to eat your shorts too. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Hey. Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, the only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck in the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz, hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. 
Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. You know, used to ride with nomads, too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep. Backer clan. Back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we have something in common after all. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. But seriously? Didn't realize Nash was Raffin? No, the sneak forgot to show me his shiv card. Don't you keep track of who's in the area? The rates, right? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. Nomad blood. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without them. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. 
Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Do yeah. not say that. Thanks, you guys. That I cannot I'll grab the gear. Must then be out of your hair. I am sorry, too. Looks like you're no, stuck with me. No. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go Put already. It in the trunk. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. We can go. Hop in. So Rocky Ridge, empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. When you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Okay. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. 
I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them, then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Switch gear's got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Get good and ready. The show starts... now! Let there be light. What now? Don't make it quick, I promise. Get in the car out of here. No need to risk it. Fine. Meet me at the city line. North time. Don't get too used to her. She's mine. See you soon. Fuck out of my car! I'll take the wheel. There. What are you waiting for? Couldn't wait another minute, could you? isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. 
She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got him. Six Street away Just forward, listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Want to just show up at the Raffin hideout? Are you out of your mind? Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. Matter of fact, I do. We take the stuff to 6th Street, then go after Hellman like we planned. I gave you my word, didn't I? Please stop writing my ass about Hellman. And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just... just help me get Nash. <sighs> All right, so where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him. Came on! Hell yeah! Hello, Rogue. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I took my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were up chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. One bitter cold bitch, that rogue. Thinks she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh, <laughs> never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Thinks she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so.
Hey, boss. Pan Am. How's Nash? Doesn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? A partner. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. <coughs> oh, I, I can't. Hello, Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Alda Caldos. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in the city? Had to leave my clan, too. I, I remember. Backer family, right? Mm-hmm. Then I came to Night City. Saw my chance. Took it. And? And I lost almost everything. Shit. That's comforting. Let's talk about something else. Anything else. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... Mm, glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for a... Uh... A little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight.
I'll go catch a few wings. Starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm hmm. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Rappins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. All right. Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A sat wave power station. Power station? Wait, you want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. The drive. Nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. All right, let's ride. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Because me, I had to carry a real Gannic iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yup. Someone put him in a deep sleep. Packed him in a cooler. No idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The deputy finance director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. 
Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Next target, single shot. Okay, just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers. All a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know? Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power go, go, go. station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. This a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Thought you would have done something like this with your clan. No. We did take back one of ours from a convoy once. But this, what we're doing now, the risk is so much greater. You don't miss it? What? Jobs like this? Being in a clan, being part of a family. I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all in your own? Yeah, sometimes wonder what life would be like, back with the clan. And? 
And the price is always too damn high. Hmm. I believe I understand. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. cleanest job perhaps but it still went well what about the detonator is it working yes it's working and I don't even see a drop in the signal strength we just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us too the cliff there we'll set up it should give us a good view of the antennas and then we wait okay Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry, I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? We only got one chance, Pan Am. Let's not screw it up. Fear not. I finish what I start. Always. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your thought. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there. Coming from Pacifica. All right. Get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's, What's going happening? on? God damn it all. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? Altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it. No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. Yeah, AV unmarked. Losing out. Catch. There. Scorpion. What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. 
Battery Make should sort Scorpion? itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Tang Tao. Wait for me. Or better, get the hell out. They probably want to help the survivors. But not knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me. The pulse is interfering. Shit. I have three on radar. Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mrs. Scorpion. Drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. They won't mark us? I'll enable the masking. Their scanners are out. They're blind. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Aldecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... No, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. We, if they... Don't combat drones. Defense system's active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. V, this does not look good. Mitch! He's alive! They have them! They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can we take it down somehow? We've got five Kangs on patrol. Maybe. But we have to get there first. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Open the door. I'll cover you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Easy now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pan Am. Shoot Shut him. up! 
Look around. You're fresh out of jail. We'll see about For that. For fuck's sake, fucking shoot, shoot him fuck already! Up. Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh shit. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I'm going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before... Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You helped me with Nash. You helped me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your helmet. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help Oh, them. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit, V. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look, you're alive. Still got a few things to take care of, too. Mm-hmm. You know it. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. If they thought they would call their friends, they were in for one hell of a surprise. Careful, V. That's one of our... one of their friends. Let's check it. Don't know if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. You were right. Nomad's car did die. They tried to put her back on her feet. But the oil pump died. Pistons couldn't take it. Give us a few minutes, maybe, but they still got a head start. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alda Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him, don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Pan Am. And pull in everyone else after me. I'm done. You hear me, V? I fuck up again. You better give me a good kick in the ass. But you didn't fuck any... Promise me! All right, I promise. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The 
cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. So... Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. It's all I tried to raise, Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you, you look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Hi there, V. How's it going with Rogue? It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietor's sticking to that version. So we're covered for now. Make up your mind yet? About what? The Alicaldos. You going back? Part of me just wants to drive down the open highway and never look back. Part of me wants to stay. But being in the same room with Saul. I don't know anything anymore, V. Whatever happens, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Mm hmm. Take care. Talk soon, V. V, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Yeah, yeah. I had a fallen out or something. It doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. 
You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... Their family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family, too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure? But I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. What a damn shame. Uh, what about- So, that should be everything. V. Will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the song I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... Holy... Do you see...
See that? That is one hell of a storm. Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. But if things get noisy, I'll be your long distance in. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. Right. I think I got eyes on him. Is he... Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Mandate a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, I might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. <sighs> It'll just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know him? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Right. Give me a sec. Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. I 
It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. If you're gonna bloody the furniture, keep me out of it. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ugh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right? Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? A little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them? I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. Careful. You can't know what I'd wish for. Hmm? You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? No. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but... When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Who's alive? Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. 
Bossing folk every which way. You? Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Most times, Saul's views dribble. Mongers know why I read? Because only fiction's this. capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alde Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. V, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, no longer a moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a v, visit? you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you, think you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. 
Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Remember a while back, you told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd helped just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I don't remember that. We have arrived. Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. 
Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Huh, that was quick. We have lights. Mitch and Bob must have managed to connect. Got a little help from yours truly. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, the... the card. In the reader? V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. I can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still check. Get your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Worried about Saul? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. 
Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah. Was it someone I know? No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Those on? Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap too. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment! And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be! Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine work and order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. 
Be waiting. Take care. B, the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. <laughs> so I hear. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay. I don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Seems a boat. Hmm? She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. 
All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good. Better than dirt now. Bullseye. Okay, practice is over. Remember what I said about impulses? Mm -hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? You go for that. Oh, fuck. They found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapid. Hold group of them. Ready for a fight. They're here too, Saul. Hold for them. Take them out. Then haul Ash here and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. We're almost there. Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. 
Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Elder Caldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? All right with lemonade. Suit yourself. To happy endings. What now, boss? I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. Turns out Saul's all right. So, it's all wrong? I'll play it by ear. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I promise. V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relics also keep me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, no. 
The chip's data is affecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here... It is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. Couldn't help me. Not sure anyone can. I don't believe that. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Hi there, V. How's it going? Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Oh, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that, and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know, fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. 
Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Gonna try this with Pan Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. Prison of Souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. Yeah, this might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques, and we'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's... automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka, and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, 
to danger. One out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldo Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B. B, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo! <laughs> he flabbergasted. to the clan! He is. What's the it they most... say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldo Caldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs to do, then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. It's a basketball toast to you. glory. You could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Are you miss all right? this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In that city, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here, feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Raging Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense, I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, stop. You set me in your family, and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? Then you want me to massage your bruised conscience? Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Uh, you're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? 
I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. We'd best not keep them waiting. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Do you feel that? Attention? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Help. All systems are offline. Can we fix it? Right the hell now. Shit! Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones. You deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Power stuff! Got it? Can you put it out? Get the fuck out of here, folks! Christ, people, where are you? I'm out here about the sand, but what's the hold up? Head out, how's it looking? ETA. A minute. Fire's under control. Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but she should be mobile. So, hey, no, we're coming. No, the power headed to the floor. We need more time, Bobby. Can you hold them off? Do I have a choice? Look after yourself. Oh, Bobby's got this. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Okay, Bobby. The panzer's moving again. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Run. Start the missile ball. I got just one son of a bitch left. And he's about to get a- Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby. Bobby, do you read? We have to go I'm sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The panzer, V. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. You can do this, Pan Am. Hang in this thing. We need to wipe the core hose aside. Off the road, make it across the bridge. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're down. So much shit has hit us already. We can do this. We're in! Brace yourself. She's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Carol, you and Cassidy keep us secure. You got it. Mitch, you're coming with us. Damn yes, man. No time to lose then. Let's go. Okay. I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnect. Okay. Is everything all right? You seem quiet. This is not how we're supposed to go. Worry this is gonna get worse. Worrying won't get us anywhere. Pan Am, if we... If, if you and I... Do you think this thing between us affects my decisions? Is that it? A bit, yeah. Do you have any idea how much that pisses me off? What's between us stays between us. But this raid, these people, that's completely separate. I take full responsibility for this. Me, not you. And if you'd known how this would turn out? I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. 
Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm hmm. Alt. And who is that? Well, kind of funny story, actually. Alt is Johnny's ex. You're joking. God's honest truth. Nobody moves to the net quite like she does. She's our only way into Mikoshi proper. Johnny, Alt, keeping it all in the family, I see. Do you trust her? Yeah, she'll help us. Why? Something got you worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta... come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to our Osaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy to let him from here. To do list. Inside. We need you. Well, right Fellas, now what's they... the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gunk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V! Someone make him see reason! Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves! They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Carol, I'm heading your way! Hang in there! Saul! You'll owe me He's... a beer after this! They're gonna... You can't let all this be for nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into them. Once you're mobile, they'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Jack in and start her up. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing should override the emergency system shutdown. Lift it. I'll use my personal lift if needed. Moment of truth. Here it goes. Everything all right? Pan Am, talk to me. No, 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 Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised is all. I've endured worse. Pan Am, for a sec I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Saul. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on, let's finish this. Ah! B, B! He's having another seat. B, B, are you okay? Hey! hey. Got it. Under control. Can't stop now. Anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. This is it. We made it. A few steps is all that separates you from Mikoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V. To the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. It can't be much further, can it? We have the room past oh, the partition, shit, not then we'll good. be at the court. 
Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Come on. Lean on me. I can do this. So listen. All I know for sure is Alt's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber jaunt. So I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. This damn. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. What did you make of me? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. I was. We both were. Bet you had no idea we'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? Doesn't matter, don't think. We'll forget it all, tanning our backsides in the Arizona sun. Time and perspective. Need a bit of both. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. It's just not there. What I'm looking for. Do you think we'll ever find it? <laughs> Doubt it. Maybe that's not so bad. If Night City taught me anything, it's to beware of your dreams. Because somehow they always find a way to come back and bite you in the ass. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Figure this out, Pan Am. Vic's drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. This is rot. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie, and the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. 
a tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogi's down by the docks. <sighs> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Really? Then I can't wait. Of course, our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that, I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. Pan Air. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. <laughs> Did save every one of our asses, though. Petty Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone. Even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait. Are we talking about one of those famous Aldecaldo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one, too. They dug through right after the first war. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? You sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol? Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move, before that storm finds us. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. 
Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So Jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The portal. It wasn't him when it was. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Ready? I'm ready always. Then hit it! Home stretch! Full speed ahead! The Nitro is ready. Let's say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. I don't even what to say. Start her up. The deal is yours. Let's ride! Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Is everything all right? You okay? No, I'm not okay. Nothing's okay. Fuck. Pan Am. I need air. I know one thing. This fucking city. I will not miss it. I'm 
really can't understand it. After all that happened in Makoshi, you feel no need to leave this shithole? Just leave. Run and never look back. Run away with me. What would it change if I did leave with you? I only got a few months left anyway. It would be a few months among people you care about. People who care about you. Unless... Unless that's your point. You think the end could be easier? If you were alone? You know that's not true. I know this, V. Tomorrow I will be gone. We're breaking camp. We'll leave at dawn. Don't want to lose you, but... I can't leave. I can't live or think any other way. Well, you know I always set my radio to Stanley. Will I hear about you? You can bet on it. Fuck. I so detest goodbyes. They had a saying in my clan. No goodbyes. Only roads that four can converge. Nomads say all sorts of shit. Speaking of which, you still owe me that story of that guy from Caucasus. The one who rode in your trunk. I'll tell you. Someday. Somewhere. If our roads meet again. Until next time. I will remember, V. What's the problem? Oh, I spoke with Victor. So please stop acting surprised. Where the hell are you? Hey, stop yelling at me. You piece of shit. You're lucky we're not face to face. Seriously. Where are you? Sitting on an Arasaka orbital station. No idea which one. Like I could give a shit which one. You're in trouble. Again. Alone. You could have asked for help. Had my reasons. Ah, oh, fuck! Enough! Just stop pissing me off. Return to Earth now, before they hurt you. Nice to hear your voice again. It's good to hear yours too, idiot. Now come home. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hey, V, listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not gonna last long. I'm serious. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. And when I do, I'm gonna rip V out of your head. 
Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm. You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. Hey, B. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, B? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, B. Hey, V. It's Pen M. Remember me? The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Hey, V. Just wanted to tell you. I really hope there is an afterlife. Wanna know why? Hmm? Because that means one day we'll see each other again. And I'm gonna make you wish you never met me. What were you thinking, huh? Or did you think about nothing at all? Is that it? And after everything I did for you, everything, and what's the first thing you go do, huh?